Okay, cool. Make sure... This is quite cozy for Dragonspine. I'm pleasantly surprised. I gave it a try, and I actually quite enjoyed it. <laughs> but Amber said the snowman I made was too artistic. Apparently, the conventional style is more rotund in appearance. I couldn't tell if she was complimenting me or mocking me. Either way, I'm not about to let it go. I gave it a try, and I actually... <laughs> But Amber said the snowman, I couldn't tell if she was complimenting me or mocking. I'm quite familiar with Dragonspine by now, but this time, I have a newcomer to worry about. And I'm traveling in a group with Amber and the others. Not things I'm terribly well accustomed to. Still, I've taken the job, so of course I'll do what's asked of me to the fullest of my ability. I'll settle this score once this is all over. Me? I'm coping perfectly well. I don't need looking after. You should talk to Amber and Bennett. They're not as well acquainted with Dragonspine as I am. Seeing how much you can find to talk about even with Albedo, you must be quite the conversationalist. So put that skill to good use. Teach them all how to survive on Dragonspine. I'm sure this is well within your capability. I gave it a try. <laughs> but Amber said this. I couldn't tell if she was complimenting me or mocking me. If you're talking about Bennett's situation, I think I'm used to it now. It's hardly the end of the world. Don't ruminate on it. Take this chance to get some proper rest. The nights are long on Dragonspine. <laughs> <sighs> A glass of ice-cold wine would not go amiss right now. Don't mind me. Oh, pace yourself. Dinner could be a while. I still have a few things to prepare. I hadn't expected you to be so interested in paint. I once tried grinding mist flowers into powder and mixing it with white paint to replicate the sparkle of snowflakes. The end result was quite satisfactory, but works that use this kind of paint need to be stored carefully. If you want to try it for yourself, I can help you. Even now, I don't believe I have fully grasped the nature of the threat that Dragonspine poses. But, I will endeavor to keep you safe. That much you can trust in. <laughs> I wish I could simply respond with... Um, but you are a true friend to me, so I should be honest with you. Recently, certain questions have been occupying my mind. Questions about the nature of life and... Cr However, I feel that rushing into a discussion with you on these topics before my ideas on them are fully formulated will bring you far more confusion than clarity. So, I will wait till my thoughts are clear in my own head before I share them with you. Until then, please forgive me. Oh, don't worry about it. 
A chance like this to gather around the fire and chat into the night is a rare and precious one for me. I won't participate in the conversation much. It's just a habit of mine. But please know that I am enjoying the atmosphere all the same. Of course, I'm happy to continue chatting with you if you'd like. This is my camp, but let's not get bogged down in technicalities. I want you to be able to relax and make yourself at home here. Oh, pace yourself. Dinner could be a while. It's almost ready now. Traveler, please light the campfire and gather everyone for dinner. a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. This is no good hunter, but there should be enough to go around. Please, help yourselves. Wow, smells great. Don't mind if I do. Wait, don't steal all the fried vegetables. Uh, leave some for me. Hey! Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in the top restaurant. Are all alchemists so good at cooking? Hmm. You may be onto something there. Right? Paimon thinks so too! It's his lab manner that gives it away. The kind of guy who holds a potion bottle as steady as a rock isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be slapped dash with his salt and pepper. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm so sleepy after all that food. Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> He must be totally... The way he's sleeping is so... alert. I'm impressed. <sighs> he seems to be in a deep sleep. Ooh, Paimon wonders if he sleep talks. Uh, oh, no, Dad. No apples for me. I want sticky honey roast and fisherman's toast. <sighs> Sticky honey roast. That's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. She said we ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> hmm. 
She also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Aww, it's nice that you two are so close. The Traveler and Paimon always eat together, too. It's a sure sign of true friendship. Two people simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. That depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. Aha! Paimon just noticed something. Whenever Eula doesn't want to admit to something, she raises her chin or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> Ah, you've all picked up on that. Didn't know Eula's tells were so easy to spot. We are done here, yes. I am free to go, am I not? Then please excuse me. I have a frozen lake I need to be at. You're going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! Don't go without me! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. So maybe you should stay here and rest. No, I should come with you. It's late, and it's dark, and you're not good with directions like I am. Come on, let's... An ice bath? Whew. Rather them than Paimon. Oh, hey, Dad. I'm doing all right. I'm the leader of my own adventure team now. Wow. Then it really is a sleep talker. Okay, looks like... All right, you two. Time to paint. Have you decided what to paint? <laughs> like you even need to ask. It's obviously going to be Paimon. Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so... Okie dokie! Alright, grab your easel, paper, brushes... Hey! What's that look for? Cut the attitude and start putting your perfect Paimon down on the page! You better... Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. Explain it! 